So last night I actually took the S13 home. It's been the first time I've really street driven it since I don't know, beginning of the summer and uh, I'm happy I did because I kind of realized it needs a little bit more work than I thought for the next drift event. So not only is it filthy, <laughs> but the my whole alignment got out of whack, uh, hunt for sure at the last event. Um, I really, really need to take some time and realign the whole car. I don't know if it got loose, broken or what, but it does not feel good. I guess uh, let's send it and go from there. And it looks like I didn't fix the leak. I just made it leak slower. All right, so I got the S13 inside and I'm giving a quick run through. It just seems a little off. I just wanna make sure everything's perfect for the next event because as you know, breaking down at the event is like the worst thing ever. And it just feels a little off. Yeah, the alignment doesn't feel too good right now, but I could fix that easily. For some reason, it almost feels like it has a boost leak or something. Just running a little bit more rich than usual and the map is a little bit all over the place. Dun, 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 dun. What's up, homie? So Drew just got back from school. It is officially his end of the week, so he'll be here for the next couple days. We just been doing Grom stuff, so we've been just hanging out, cuddling the human weather past a little bit, yeah. and uh, yeah. So how was your week at school, Drew? Everyone wants to know. Trash. Trash. Hated it. Tra how was school? Sucks. School it's like such a big change from being here every day to that. It's very different. But it's a must. It is a must. Got to get out last year. Or get a trade, and I don't think he's gonna get a trade. I'm not gonna do that. No. But Tucker, he had a hard week too. Look at him. So a lot of you might have noticed I've been wearing a hat like every day for like the past month. It is because I've needed a haircut so horribly, but I've just been so lazy about going to get my haircut and everything. So today we're going to hook him up with the freshie. <laughs> so Drew's going to cut my hair. I don't know how it's going to go. Worst case, it gets completely messed up. I keep wearing a hat until I get an actual haircut, but I think it'll be a funny experience because... Hey, the price is right. True. Free. Free. As you could tell, my hair is absolutely disgusting. It is so long. <laughs> So we're gonna try and make some sense of it. It doesn't help that it's really muggy out, as you can tell about my face, but. We're gonna hook him up. <laughs> Randall the barber, coming at you live. Oh, Here we go. I'm a little nervous, dude. This is the Rite Aid kit. I think it was like $20. I've had it for like four or so years. Let's see, you gotta find the three. Game plan? Off with the head. I'm like sweating, as you can tell, because it's muggy out, but we're gonna make something work. Maybe he'll, you know what? Maybe he'll like TJ Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's perfect. We'll stay below that line. All right. That was like our guideline. Doesn't hurt. Sometimes when you have a lot of hair, it like hurts. Ow. <laughs> Did that hurt? Because I hold my hair is like dumb sweaty. I know. What do you think, Drew? I think it looks great so far. <laughs> Look at this. I'll leave this over the ear just like that. It's a good oh touch. Oh my god, dude. Ready? Off with it. Off with it. Update by Randall. Dude. You want me to give you the 360? Here. The 360. Let's style it. I told you I want to look like TJ Hunt. That's it, dude. <laughs> At this point in the haircut, Drew is attempting his blending. We're doing a new approach. We put the six on, uh -huh. which is three quarters of an inch. We're trying to get the three to match the whatever, the, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. Blender away, boy. Nice. Not only am I filming this, I'm using it as a mirror for myself. In uh, this part of the haircut, Drew is now blending. I don't even know what I'm just thinning it out. Yeah, thin thinning there's, out the longest part of your hair. There's a lot of hair in there. There is a lot of hair in here. You honestly had a lot more hair than I th think I thought. Think I thought. Think I thought. I'll now, box uh, him up for you nice. Yeah, he's gonna do me good. He's gonna put two slits in my eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that. <laughs> so Drew's gonna edge me up now real nice, clean it up, clean, clean the lines up. You feel me? You feel me? Gucci. Box him. All right, I think we're good. I gotta wash it now. Andy, do the honors. Yeah, I gotta do the 360. I gotta peep the back real quick. What you think? Dude, pretty. Do you look like TJ? Right? <laughs> to everyone that asks us where we get our money from. Yeah. 
Home did haircuts, Home did boy. Haircuts. All right, so it definitely wasn't a bad haircut. Drew did pretty good, so I'm impressed. Am I gonna keep it like this? Who knows, I kinda look weird. <laughs> Either way, uh, I'm stoked now. I don't have super long hair on the side, so I'm not sweating my buttocks off over here, so. Gonna send it back to the car. Um, so I'm pretty confident my car is boost leak, and it makes way more sense than anything else. I checked over everything. Um, so I guess now it's gonna be, so now I'm gonna give it a boost leak test, and I'm gonna show you how to do it the easy way. All right, so this is a DIY style boost leak tester. It works really well. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store and get a PVC cap. They come in all sizes, usually like two and a half, three is perfect because it fits most cars. And then you wanna get like a wheel valve, a bike valve. A motorcycle valve is the best because they bolt on each side so it makes it a lot easier. And so it seals really nice and you're gonna wanna put it where your math is into your intake. And that's as simple as that. Now from here, it works a lot better if you have a compressor because it could force air in a lot faster, but Haggard still has mine, so I'm gonna use my little bike pump and we're gonna find out if I have any leaks. <laughs> and do you hear it? Massive leak right here. That is actually good news. All right, so I got it to stop leaking. It seems like the coupler was just a little off. This isn't cutting it anymore. I really need to force more air into the system to find other leaks because I'm pretty sure there's one more leak, but I can't get air in the system fast enough to really hear it. So I'm gonna go get my compressor tonight and finish it up. It's not worth rushing. In the meantime, I gotta redo my alignment because it got all messed up. So I show up at the shop today and it looks like Don has a, a few more treats for his S14 for some reason. This dude bought a set of Maserati wheels for no good reason at all. <laughs> These are 18 by I think 10 and a half with like a crazy positive offset. I ended up picking up this really, really aggressive kit, which I think is gonna look sick. It just needs, I mean, a lot of love. So Don, I hope you're ready to get covered in fiberglass. The front bumper looks sick and it's actually in pretty good condition, so it doesn't need much work, but it's gonna look really good with this more aggressive kit. Nice. So I'm stoked to see that come together, but I gotta wait for the compressor. Hopefully Cam can bring it down tonight so I can finish my boost leak test. And then Drew wants to do one too for why not. And uh, we're making him a, a a better little intake for it, so we found some random piping. He's gonna make some cuts. Yes, sir. Nice safety glasses. Let's get this done. All right, so Cam actually just brought my compressor back, which is fantastic, so now I can give my car an actual leak down test. So before I was trying to use a bike pump, and it really wasn't pushing enough volume of air through it to make it really noticeable where it was leaking. Now with the air compressor, I'm able to blast a high quantity of air in the system, and then I can really tell where it's leaking. Now I'm gonna get some soapy water and spray the couplers as I'm filling air with it so that it makes it a lot more visible where it's leaking from. Now it's time to blast it with some air and figure out where the small leaks are. Oh, there's a leak right here. That's a big one. All right, so I just took it for a drive and it actually feels pretty good. Um, the boost leaks was definitely noticeable after fixing them. So I think we, when we be, uh, tuned the base map, it kind of did have some boost leaks. So now my car is having a hard time coming down on idle. It wants to die out. So it's probably accounting for some air that now is not there. So Justin's gonna come down tomorrow. I'm gonna give it a quick uh, kind of remap on the base. So get that all situated. But besides that, we should be all set. I horribly need coilovers bad. I say it all the time, but I need to suck it up and spend the money because I think that's really hold my car back because it feels like trash to drive around town. But Don just showed up. And uh, what are you doing to your car, dude? No, I just put the bummer. It's definitely, I need to do some cutting for my car. But. Dude, that looks so sick. Yeah, it's his, uh, his crash bar. It's hitting the fiberglass. Mm -hmm. So but it's going to look really good. He put his Maserati wheels on, dude. dude I'm in love with them. You're insane. This is a dumb Volkswagen thing to do. <laughs> you, will, you will not see any other drift car with Maserati in this this <laughs> Perfect, kit is fully on, he's ready to drift. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna look so good with the aero bumper. I really like these uh, steel patch panels. Dude, freaking. I think that's a good idea. All right, so I think I'm done for today. I'm kind of crossing the fingers on my car. I think we're all set. I gotta do a few things tomorrow, of course, but we'll get it done. Drew somehow managed to cut my hair today and it doesn't look horrible. It does kind of look a little funny, but better than before. So I'm gonna call it a night. Now, a big thing is I really wanna get into a new project. So 
my 240 it's it's not done but it doesn't really need much more um at this point maybe like some i really want coilovers i really want seats for it i really really need to figure out my wheels and then kind of from there it's just maintaining it because that's all i really need for a drift car um but i really want to get into a new project and for me to be able to afford that i think i have to get rid of the z so the z i think is going to be for sale because i i really don't ever want to sell this car um i wish i could just put it in the garage forever and just look at it but to make things happen, I really need to sell it because that's the only way I'm going to get money to do a build. So You'll probably see that go up soon. Or I could just do whatever YouTuber does and raffle it. So I'd like, <laughs> Or do a giveaway. That's, that's the term. So you guys let me know what your opinion is on that. So I'm going to call it a night. You guys know the deal. Hack a Garage is doing a collab with me. I still haven't got my t-shirt yet, but I'll have it soon. And what that does, which each purchase of a t-shirt... One, you get a sick t-shirt, and two, it puts you into two drawings into a Grom giveaway, and you know how much me and Drew and DJ love our Groms, and it's an absolute blast. So if you want a chance to win one, link in description. And I also released my own line, and that link will be in the description too, and Jimmy on a Garage. So I'm going to have Don in this because he's so good at it. All right, guys, as always, pick up stickers, pick up shirts, enter that, like, comment, subscribe. Have a good night. Boom. <laughs>